in this video we are going to introduce correlation of the signal correlation is nothing but it's a measure of similarity between two signals so here we are having a general equation for to calculate correlation of the signal this is nothing but measure of similarity between two signals if you are calculating correlation means you are just calculating measure of similarity how similar they are if there is any similarity then you are getting some correlation value if there is no similarity between the signals then you will get zero as correlation result just measure of similarity between uh, two signals so here for example if you want to calculate the measure of similarity between x1 and x2 the general representation of correlation function is always in terms of r of tau r of tau is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t x2 of t minus tau dt this is somewhat similar like convolution of x1 of t and x2 of t don't confuse convolution of x1 of t and x2 of t is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t x of tau h of x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau d tau this is convolution formula this will be in tau domain but here you can see this is in t domain only only we can represent correlation function in terms of tau domain the formula will be in t domain only so integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t x2 of t minus tau dt will be the correlation formula general formula for correlation between two signals x1 of t and x2 of t here we are having two types of correlations so that is one is auto correlation second one is cross correlation so here what is meant by auto correlation and what is meant by cross correlation as i told you correlation is the measure of similarity between two signals if you are calculating measure of similarity of a signal and shifted version of same signal you are not using any other signal to compare with this signal you are just using whatever signal you are having but in shifted version the measure of similarity between one signal and shifted version of the same signal then that is said to be auto correlation function that means so auto correlation is represented with r11 why because you are comparing first signal with first signal only but shifted version of first signal that means if your equation is integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t x1 of t minus tau dt then it will be the equation for auto correlation function just you are checking the measure of similarity between your actual signal and shifted version of your actual signal then it will gives you by shifting that uh, that many positions by shifting particular positions what is the difference came in the signal by calculating the cor uh, correlation we can measure the measure of similarity if you are having measure of similarity you will get measure of similarity if you are not having measure of similarity after shifting the signal entirely the signal change it to a different value which is not having uh, which is not having even single value similar to your actual signal your correlation resulting zero so here that is nothing but auto correlation correlate correlation of correlation between same signals that means signal with shifted version of same signal will give you auto correlation always will indicate with suffix with similar values r11 r22 r33 ra like that we can represent auto correlation function with r11 of tau or r22 of tau according to your signal name you can define but similar values you need to give here we are having cross correlation as auto correlation is the measure of similarity between similar signal cross correlation represent it is the measure of similarity between two different signals if you are calculating the measure of similarity between a signal and shifted version of other signal then that is said to be cross correlation this is always indicated with r12 why because you are comparing 
your signal with second signal. So R12 of tau, R21 of tau. What is the meaning of R12 or R21 means? If you are comparing 1 with 2, that is called as R12. If you are comparing 2 with 1, that is called as R21. So that means in this equation, if you are taking shift to x2, then that is R12. If you are taking the shift to x1 and you are writing x2 of t dt here, then that is said to be R21. That will be the difference of R12 or R21 of tau. This cross correlation function can be indicated with R12 of tau or R21 of tau. That variation in the suffix indicates we are measuring the similarity between two different signals. That means a signal with a shifted version of other signal. Whereas in autocorrelation, we are measuring the similarity between same signal. That means a signal with shifted version of same signal. We are going to check the measure of similarity. So here this is about correlation. Correlation is nothing but measure of similarity. We are having a general equation for correlation. We are having two types of correlations, autocorrelation and cross correlation. So autocorrelation is measure of similarity between same signal and cross correlation is measure of similarity between two different signals. So in next class onwards we are going to discuss autocorrelation function and its properties and after that cross correlation function and, and its properties and some problems clearly.